And now to the latest on the drug overdose epidemic in Rhode Island and Massachusetts. Both states will be able to get a boost to address the ongoing heroin and opioid addiction crisis thanks to extra federal funding and resources. The overdose rates keep rising in both states, and tonight parts of southeastern Massachusetts will be highlighted in a documentary. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is live in the control room with more. The federal budget passed by Congress before the holidays includes millions of dollars to help states battle addiction. Tens of millions of more dollars are being put into the fight against heroin and other opiates. From treatment to enforcement, Rhode Island Senator Jack Reed helped push for the money in the budget bill passed by Congress. Treatment, rehabilitation, and support. Senator Reed says states like Rhode Island and Massachusetts can apply for the federal grants based on their unique local needs. For example, to equip more police departments with naloxone, the overdose reversal drug. Federal resources can be used to better coordinate, better plan, uh, to, to encourage them to, to do things that uh, they want to do, but they just need the additional planning money or the additional money to get the startup going. Tonight on HBO, a documentary is scheduled to air about heroin abuse on Cape Cod. The trailer says if it can happen here, it can happen anywhere. It's a sentiment Reed agrees with. Well, this is a comprehensive problem that requires a comprehensive approach, and it should not be a surprise that it is affecting communities all through the United States. And another example of how this federal funding is helping Rhode Island, last week Brown University and Rhode Island Hospital were awarded grants for substance abuse screening and intervention. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.